So these are what you might want to call wall plane flowers. This is anti-spin extension, anti-spin extension, anti-spin, you can also go in-spin, anti-spin, in-spin, anti-spin extension. Uh, that's all same direction split time, going the same way, split time rhythm. All kinds of variations of this. You can do uh, opposites. And basically, if you take your arms for the same motions, you'll get a pattern like this. Fun stuff to play with. Um, you can also do stuff kind of very much in the same realm, which uh, Ronan would call, the great Ronan would call the stretching circles. And just doing different kinds of patterns where the poi pass through each other, or the planes pass through each other. It all takes basically some plane control. Uh, it takes two things. It takes plane control, and it takes some, uh, some developed skill at choosing which poi is passing inside the other, and it takes having both those skills through a, total, a complete range of motion on the wall plane in front of you. And all of this, you'll learn uh, quicker if you sometimes actually play up against a wall. <laughs> I had a job as a background performer in a movie, and you know we had a lot of nothing to do. So I just I had a wall, and I spent the whole day playing uh, up to the wall. And that really, it just showed me how my perception of my plans was wrong. You know, I thought I was on a wall plane, and the wall showed me that I wasn't, because the wall wasn't bent. It was straight. And a little bit of that, and I found I, I took a step where I just had more freedom. I could just boogie the next week more. Um, some background stuff for this. All that stuff that I talk about, about bending your planes, the saloon doors, orbing, being able to bend your poi in and out, and one in while one goes out, that really helps you keep your poi on that wall plane. And then what you want to learn to do is to just switch which one's inside. Because to do that, you need to have flat planes. If they're angled away from you, they'll keep hitting. If they're really straight uh, along that wall, then you can just switch left and front, right and front, left and front, right and front, left and front, right and front, left and front, right and front. And you want to learn to do that subtly. And then you start at what might be a journey of more than a few weeks, which is starting to explore your space. Maybe at first one arm up, one down, maybe out. Every time you come together, make sure you're alternating which one's in front. And in time, you'll learn to completely cross your arms. And that might take a little while, because that's really core skills. And you got your arms crossed, which is really going to mess with uh, with, you know, if you're newer at this, that's going to take some time. Um, and the other way, but it's fun because once you've got that, it's really going to open up this. As a pattern, that's not so complicated and probably best to learn with, with, uh, with one poi. You know what, you can you say you take your right poi, say you're going to spin it clockwise, and let your arms, boom, cross. And so they can't cross anymore. Right poi still spinning clockwise. If you uncross your arms, that's anti-spin. As you go this way, it's in-spin. Anti-spin, in-spin, anti-spin. From here, if you go quicker, it's an extension. And when it gets to there, it keeps spinning. Same direction, it's always clockwise. And then you can go anti-spin to get back. And then you can either go extension or in-spin. So what you might want to do, and you know, it's this. Do this against the wall. Let's play with this. Then add your right poi. Then try it with your left poi. And what's going to take time is building the muscle memory. 
Uh, and that's really what's going to let you do this. Because if each arm gets really comfortable at this, when you do both, they're going to go kaboom with practice. After a lot of playing around, in spin, anti spin, extension, anti spin, in spin. And the other modes uh, are basically the exact same um, muscle memory, but you're just mixing things up where, again, maybe this one's going to go, my right is going to go counterclockwise. Basically, same thing though. Anti-spin, extension, anti-spin, extension, anti-spin, extension. Left poise going clockwise. You put those together. Right? And okay, let's take one step backwards. In the beginning, you know, you can start really slow, learn to go through a full range of motion, switching which one's inside of the other and working toward thinking that one day you're going to want to go like this. And it's, it's, all, it's really fun stuff. Um, you could throw in the, the Ronin stuff. And, uh, and from anywhere, you know, you're playing along, and shh, boo, boo, boo. you can open and close from it. Um, really fun to play with, but just don't be, uh, be patient with this one. It's all plain control, uh, and that, that can take time. So if you're early on, just think you're learning to start extending here, extending here, beginning to explore one play around the other one. And that's going to revolutionize the way you perform and play. And if uh, you play a lot, you know, maybe you can get into it faster. But uh, just enjoy the process. And uh, I'll maybe make an update with this with some more thoughts later on. <laughs>